There are three solutions to every problem, accept it, change it or leave it. If you can't accept it, change it. If you can't change it, leave it. This is a simple but powerful way to approach problems. It can be difficult to accept that we can't change a situation, but sometimes it is the best solution. Other times, we may be able to change the situation and that is the best option. And sometimes, the best thing to do is to simply walk away. This strategy can be applied to any problem, big or small. Your problem is not the problem, your reaction is the problem. If you find yourself constantly struggling with the same issue, it may be time to take a step back and examine your reaction to the problem. Oftentimes, our reaction is what creates more problems than the original issue. If we can learn to take a step back and examine our reactions, we may be able to find a more effective way to deal with the issue. The problem is not the problem. The problem is the incredible amount of overthinking you are doing with the problem. Let it go and be free. The problem is not the problem. The problem is the incredible amount of overthinking you are doing with the problem. Let it go and be free. You are spending so much time and energy worrying about the problem and overthinking it, that you are not able to focus on finding a solution. Instead, let go of the problem and be free. Allow yourself to take a break from thinking about it, and trust that the solution will come to you. Happiness is not the absence of problems, it's the ability to deal with them. Happiness is often thought of as the absence of problems, but that's not accurate. Happiness is the ability to deal with problems. Everyone has problems, but happy people can deal with them effectively. They don't dwell on their problems or let them get them down. They find solutions and move on. Happiness is not the absence of problems, it's the ability to deal with them. If the problem can be solved, why worry? If the problem cannot be solved, worrying will do you no good. Worrying will not make the problem go away, and it will only serve to make you feel worse. On the other hand, if the problem cannot be solved, worrying will not help either. It may even make the problem worse. So the best course of action is to focus on solving the problem, and not on worrying about it. You are the problem and only you are the solution. It's a harsh truth, but it's one that you need to accept if you want to change your life for the better. Only you can change your life, and only you can improve your situation. It's up to you to make the decisions that will lead you to a better future, and it's up to you to take the necessary actions to make those decisions a reality. You are the only one who can make things happen in your life, and you are the only one who can make things better. It's time for you to take responsibility for your life and your choices, and it's time for you to start making the changes that you need to make. It's time for you to be the solution to your problems. When you focus on problems, you get more problems. When you focus on possibilities you have more opportunities. When you focus on problems, you tend to see more problems. This can be a self-fulfilling prophecy, as your mind is more likely to notice and pay attention to negative things. On the other hand, when you focus on possibilities, you open yourself up to more opportunities. You become more optimistic and start to see the good in every situation. This positive outlook can attract more good things into your life. So instead of dwelling on problems, focus on possibilities and watch your life change for the better. 99% of problems are caused by our thoughts. This statement is very true and it is something that we should all keep in mind. Our thoughts can either be our best friend or our worst enemy. If we dwell on negative thoughts, then we will attract negative energy into our lives and this will lead to problems. However, if we focus on positive thoughts, then we will attract positive energy and this will help us to avoid or solve problems. It is important to be aware of our thoughts and to control them as much as possible. All things pass and pain is temporary. It comes to teaching a lesson and within the lesson is understood it disappears into the night. There is truth to the saying that all things pass and pain is temporary. It often seems like the bad times will never end, but eventually, they always do. And usually, the pain serves a purpose, even if it's not immediately apparent. Sometimes it takes a while to learn the lesson, but once it's understood, the pain disappears. It's like a light being turned on in the darkness, once you can see, there is no need for darkness anymore. Mm -hmm.